Big Blue Button has a new, powerful, easy to use whiteboard. Let's take a closer look. This is Big Blue Button's new whiteboard. By default, you have a pointer so students can see exactly where you're pointing at. Let's choose the draw tool. So as I click, it turns into a pencil and now I can draw. It looks like I'm trying to solve here for this side. So let's write something down. You may remember this x squared plus y squared equals z squared. That's Pythagorean's theorem. Notice when I draw, if I draw quickly, it's thin. And if I draw slowly, it's a little thicker. It's just like drawing with an ink pen. It's very fluid and just looks beautiful. The next tool is the eraser. So here I can do like a little eraser. It's a little fruit ninja happening here. Very fun. Let's try another. I can do shapes. If I do a box, I can drag it. If I double click on it, I can put some text. This is a box. And I can go to styles and say, I like that text to be a little bit bigger. I can move the box around, rotate it. And if I want, I can do right click and you can see some options here, but I know control D is duplicate. Control D, create another box. The next tool is an arrow. So here I can draw an arrow between the boxes and now they're linked and I can select them and move them around together. The next tool is text tool. So I can say, let's solve for Z and in, you can move it around as well and I can double click and I can actually edit as well. Very nice. And you have a sticky note. So if I click, this is a sticky note. And again, you can move it around. You'll find the new whiteboard is super fluid for just annotating the slides. The new whiteboard works with multi-user as well. So if I turn on multi-user whiteboard, I move my cursor around and the students can move theirs as well. You can see students drawing in their own layer. You can turn off multi-user whiteboard to prevent them from drawing. And you can even have them do visual assessment. So if I were to go to the lock settings and I would say, turn off the ability for students to see other cursors and apply, then you can start asking them to point at items on the screen and students can't see each other. A really cool way to do visual assessment. There's also a couple keyboard shortcuts that make it very easy. So if you think of dev, draw, erase, select, I'm gonna hit the D key, so now I'm drawing again. If I want to erase, I hit the E key. So again, I'm using both hands, one for the mouse, and I do the V key, I can select. And if you use the uh, command and scroll wheel, I can zoom in, D for draw, and now I can annotate things very easily. There's a couple other capabilities. If I choose a, a series of objects, I've got some arrangement tools here, so I can maybe arrange them all so that they align by the center, uh, the styles, I can change colors, I can fill shapes, change the line, I can change the size. And of course you have the undo and redo, all the capabilities you'd expect in a modern whiteboard. One of the nice things in Big Blue Button 2.6 is now I can actually share the presentation with all the whiteboard annotations. So if I click send to chat, what Big Blue Button will do is take a snapshot of the current slides with all the annotations and all the students will see this name of the slide and I can click download. When I download it, a PDF will come through and the PDF will have all the annotations in it. That's a look at the new whiteboard and big blue button. We hope it allows you to do even more engaging, more effective classes with your students.